I have less than two and a half months to paint 20 paintings. To some, that may seem like a lot of time. That's two paintings per week. To me, it's cutting it close. Months ago, I set out to get ready for the Fruits Arts Festival, and it is slowly approaching. I've had a busy past couple of months, and I only completed three paintings, totaling 23 paintings. If I can complete 20 before the festival, will there be enough time? Join me as I prepare this painting for the festival and talk a little bit about the festival. Founded in 1960 by the Women's Committee of the Carnegie Museum of Art, the Freewis Arts Festival has presented more than 10,000 visual and performing artists. I got it off Google. Sad note, my great-grandfather was the first black artist to be a part of the Freewis Arts Festival. This festival is done right here in Pittsburgh, and it's a 10-day long event. That means the first group of artists for the first week and the second group for the second week. That's because there are many artists who attend this event. Me, I typically do the second week, mainly because I think during the first week, a lot of people don't know about the event. They don't know that it's going on. Therefore, I use the second week to give them some time. It also has food, music performances, and also performances similar to dance. And also, the location changes each year. I look at this as a good thing, because it allows for me to see where my booth was last year, and then also this year, and kind of get an idea of where more foot traffic was. That way, when I get the opportunity to choose where my booth is going to be at, like how this year is, I have a better idea of where to put it. Now let's talk about how I got into the festival. My first year, I got accepted as an emerging artist. What this is, is when you apply to the festival, they accept your work and they cover all the fees they cover your booth as well, meaning they cover your tent. They give you a tent. They give you lights if you need them. They give you a table, a chair, and also things that hang your artwork up with as well. And they cover all that. All you simply have to bring is yourself and also your artwork. This is one of the things that makes this festival as awesome as it is. Then the second year, I also applied again. I wasn't aware that there's an Emerging Artist 2 section. Meaning you can get emerging artists again after that. This time they cover the booth fee. Now you have to bring your tent and also your artwork as well. And yourself, of course. And it's so awesome because booth fees can be up there when it comes to large festivals such as these. And I believe the three arts festival is top 200 in the United States of arts festivals. When I got accepted in as emerging artist too, it was an amazing feeling. I wasn't expecting it because I didn't know the second one existed. So when I got accepted to it, I was like, oh, this is even more awesome. And I was even more excited for the festival as well, especially because it's in the middle of downtown. It's at the beginning of June. The weather is typically good. My family is there with me and it's fun. This past year, 2023, I got a festival award. I'm practically done with the lower portion of the painting right here, the shirt part. And now I'm thinking about what I can paint for the head. I don't want to simply paint my own head because I feel as though in this particular painting, it's a bit egotistical. And I don't want to paint that. Therefore, I'm trying to think of something else. Previously, I had the idea of painting flowers so the flowers will come out from the neck part. And then you can see the back of the flowers right here. I don't have a bouquet to do that with. Therefore, I'm thinking of something else. Maybe a box, a boulder, a rock, something. I'll come up with something. Now this is an award where the juries come around and I believe they check out your booth and they give out a few awards for specific things. My setup from year one to year two and three and now this year, my setup has totally changed, especially the artwork that I have. I find that my artwork is often developing in a sense of new experimentations. Therefore, my art is looking different each year at the same time and also the setup in general. I'm buying new things to make the set look more nice and to present my artwork in a better way. And one of the reasons why I like this festival is because it has many, many artists and many kind of mediums that they do. I decided to paint flowers for the head part. I don't know if that's the best decision to make, 
Cause at the same time, there are a lot of detail in these flowers. I was actually walking past the, there's an open space out there and there's some flowers in a vase. And I was thinking, okay, I, I can use these flowers. Let me go ahead and take some photos of these flowers. I use those flowers and I'm, I'm, I'm painting it and I'm looking at it and I'm like, this is, this is a lot of detail in these stems and flowers. And me as artists, I don't enjoy taking a long time to paint tiny details and paintings for hours. I'm thinking about, do I really want to paint these flowers? It would look awesome if I did. That's the thing that's gonna help me to push through and to paint these flowers. At the same time, do I really want to paint these flowers? I feel like painting these flowers. And I'm also getting ready for the Three Years Arts Festival and I wanna have more paintings for that festival. And I don't think I have enough paintings yet, I think, I definitely don't have enough paintings yet. Therefore, I wanna build those up to get more paintings and I don't wanna to spend too long on one single painting. So I'm thinking about if these flowers are necessary or not. I may paint something else for these flowers from the top of the head. That's what I'm thinking about. From glass art to many different kind of paintings and mediums and different kinds of crafts and things of that sort. And that's another thing why I like it as well is because a lot of festivals have many different kind of crafts and there's not enough paintings. There's not enough artists who are painting with who are in these festivals. And this one has a lot of people who paint, a lot of artwork in that way, in that medium, better said. What I'm playing for this year is to kind of keep it simple. I wanna have my prints there as well as my original artwork. And I plan to have bigger, larger pieces up on the walls more bigger pieces so therefore when people walk past they have a better reason to stop and take a look and then also i may have a limited edition of prints as well i think that's going to help create that sort of scarcity mindset and to encourage someone to take a more of a look and to possibly buy something as well i think when there's a lot of something people sometimes don't look at it as valuable and we can also apply that into our art when we have prints we can have a ton of prints at the same time, someone will look at that and say, well, I can get it later. And they completely forget about it and never get it at all. That was just a sad note. <laughs> if I were to share some tips with artists who want to get into festivals, I would say to keep making more art and developing your skill. That shows. No one can, de can deny that. When you hone your skills and develop your artwork, people can see that. Even if they don't fully understand how it is made, or they're not artists themselves, something inside of their brain tells them, I like this. Another thing is to present your artwork on social media. When you show your artwork on social media, a lot more places, as well as local places, see your artwork. And when local places see your artwork, when you're reaching out to get into these festivals and events, you're reaching out to these local spaces. Therefore, they can look on your social media or look on your website and see that you have some artwork to show in their space that's going to look good in their space. At the same time, don't let that determine your value. You cannot get accepted into a show and still have amazing art. Start off with local shows and events and then work your way up. Thank you for hanging out with me as I made this painting. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all next time. Keep grading.